Welcome back to Tyneside Life, my name's Eddie and I love doing videos like this where I learn new things about Newcastle then pass them on to you. Now most of you probably recognise where I am, this is the big market area, Newcastle city centre, famous for its nightlife. Some of you might recognise this particular structure here as the old men's toilets at the bottom of the big market, it's now a cool and funky bar called WC. But did you know Newcastle city centre here had two public toilets which are now bars? I didn't even know about the second one. In this video, we're going to take a look at this one inside, because I've never been in here before, and we're going to take a look at the other one, which can almost guarantee you never knew about. Really fascinating stuff. So anyway, let's take a look inside of this one and find out what the crack is. It's coming up. I had to come to London, because I couldn't find a job. But I don't intend to stay long, if I make a few quick bucks. Up there in Hello and welcome to Tyneside Life, uh, thanks for joining me. Now I was, I was walking down the big market, bursting to go to the toilet, I've come downstairs and it's a pub, uh, it's a bar, know. and uh, uh, you're the manager, am, yeah. and uh, what a fascinating little place this is, I've never been in here before. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about the history of this place and what it is now? Uh, so it was built in 1898 uh, in the Victorian area, just to have it as a public toilet for the entire city to use. The, it's basically the last, one of the last ones to be ever, to still be around. Uh, throughout basically the last century that you've got demolished or flattened or just paved over. Like, is, is that in the whole of the UK? Uh, basically, yeah. Uh, during like fascist Britain, public toilets kind of just became like a, an expenditure you couldn't really deal with. So, and lots of buildings just have their own toilets in now. So it just becomes less and less of an issue. So uh, yeah, so this was just derelict for a, a long time in the city centre, just uh, like taking up space really. Uh, council just needed someone to take that off their hands because it's in the prime location. So why don't they make it do Do you know when it was last used as a public toilet? 2012. Yeah, then it got the fully locked up, and then basically just sat here derelict for like over a decade, uh, just just under a decade. But yeah. And who bought it? Uh, Steve Blair. He's a, a man. Uh, it's a mechanical engineer from Darlow. And yeah. tell us a little bit about the place now. Aye, right, so it's a cocktail bar now. Now we've re ripped out all of the toilets now. So instead of a wall on your rhino, we now have a nice little comfy sofa around the sides. Uh, all the sinks there are now booths. And uh, yeah, it uh, no longer smells like urine. So, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've noticed like this little love cubicle over there. So yeah. You said that was where the sinks were? That's where the sinks were. And then in the middle, there's just like a, a water fountain here. So we just ripped, that all just got ripped out as well. Oh, okay. And this originally was a second entrance, but that was like paved over met, like, way, way before anyone else took mm -hmm. over. Like they had, I think uh, generally Newcastle was a lot had a lot more like, trams and stuff and like were flatter, so they just had the second entrance, but this one just paved over it. And so do you have a particular type of customer that comes in here now? Uh, generally, uh, we have like a, just like a like 70s, kind of like 80s like vibe on the playlist as well. So like kind of tend to bring in some younger students and more like people to get that, because we do cocktails as well, which is our speciality. Get a lot of like yeah, young adults, contemporary people, uh, just want to try new things. So yeah, try and, uh, we've worked in cocktail bars for a long time. It's kind of our speciality, so we try and like make that the the big push. Like got two for twelve during on Monday to Thursday, and uh, yeah, so everyone just kind of comes out and see what it's like, and it's quite charming to drink in the toilet. Right, so so I've just been uh, chatting to Callum there, and uh, I've bumped into the, the little crowd here. Sophia, yeah, your birthday, yeah, big fan of the channel, I hear. Yeah, I think it's great. I think you bring great awareness to the northeast and everything going on. So thanks. Oh, thanks very much. And uh, so, what's brought you to the men's toilets today? Um, basically, I heard the backstory about the men's toilets at work, and we just saw it, and I thought it'd be a great place to pop in for a drink. And you know, bumped into you and got to listen about all the history to it. So it's been an extra, extra plus for us yeah. today. So you've never been here before? No, no. Oh, okay. But I heard, I heard it's the place to be. Yeah. Birthday drinks all round, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Sophia. Oh, nice thank meeting you. you. I mean, it's uh, it's it's not like the other bars in the in the big market. I've, like I say, I've never been here before. So, what would you say to anybody who's never been in here and you want to tempt them in? Uh, I mean, if you've never drunk in a toilet before, it's a it's a brand new experience, but also uh, pretty good. I mean, like our cocktails are just worth trying, even if you only come once. Like, I mean, you probably will come want to come more than that, but yeah, just see what it's like. We've also got a pretty decent wine list as well. So now I uh, I'm not going to. Um, Go into detail about the, the cost of living crisis we're going through with energy prices about to rocket. Um, are you going to be okay in the foreseeable future? I will be perfectly fine. Like, uh, we're a small small business that doesn't have actually that much need for power. Like, we still need it, but 
don't actually use that much power, just keeps the lights on. And even if it goes up, you just sell more drinks, it'll be all right. Yeah. Now, uh, Dickie Bird tells me that, uh, news to me, that there's actually a second pub in Newcastle that used to be a toilet, is that right? There is, yeah. So this was the men's toilets uh, originally, and then there's a women's toilet just on Highbridge, just down there. Wow. Can you take me there and show me? I'm coming home, Newcastle. You can keep your London wine. I'd the streets, I'll Callum, what an amazing place this is. I never knew this existed. Uh, and this used to be a girl's toilet. It's absolutely tiny. It must be, I don't know, 10 metres long and about, I don't know, 2 metres wide. Just, uh, yeah. what is this place? It's a tight, tight squeeze, and it? it's, uh, it's the old female toilet. So, uh, as there was a men's one in the big market, this was the accompanying females one. So, uh, both had like a little caretaker looked after it. And uh, this one is uh, more of a well kept secret than the uh, one in the big market. Not as obvious to see. So, you just walk by it and you just never know it was there. So, when did it open as a gin bar? Uh, it opened this year in 4th of February, so 2022, yeah. Okay. And do you know when it stopped being a, a, a lady's toilet? Oh, that is, it's uh, in the 70s. This one really was like derelict for a long time. Like, no one even knows this existed. Um, oh, it's open. Well, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a well kept secret. So, uh, e people really have to know Newcastle to know this thing even was a thing at yeah. all. Yeah. And how many people can you get in? Uh, you can fit in about 15 people. Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, small. Yeah, but it's uh, half the channel coming in. Just going to see if you can get a seat. And there's lots of little quirky touches to the place. I noticed, noticed there's a, like a. Oh, yeah, a little, little press for gin. A buzzer? So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got a little box there you can see at the back. Um, okay. With a so you service. press for service. Yeah, press for service. I mean, it's uh, I can't keep an eye on everyone. I mean, I can, but I <laughs> so, uh, can't get past everyone. So uh, when it's busy, it's just uh, press your button and I'll come over with some gin for you. It's, uh, it's all good. Yeah. Wow! So that's it. That's the old girls' toilets, and across here at the bottom of the big market is the old gentlemen's toilets. Now I didn't know. Newcastle had two toilets, which are now pubs, and that tiny one here holds 15 people. It's now a gin bar, open in February. Check it out, what a cool little place it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave us your comments below if you want me to check out any other little quirky places here in Newcastle. Give it a thumbs up, and uh, until next time, catch you later.